Welcome. This is a meditation to help you accept two sides of a paradox. An example of a paradox might be, I hate fighting and conflict. I just want peace. The opposite, I must defend my ground or I won't be safe. Another example might be, I need to be free. I am free to be myself. And then the opposite, I'm afraid to appear odd to, appear odd to others. So before doing this practice, find yourself a quiet place where you won't be interrupted and where you feel particularly safe. Turn your cell phone ringer off and turn off notifications. You may want to stretch your body gently before you get started. You can sit, stand, or lie down as long as you are alert. Make sure your head is aligned with your neck and torso so that vagus nerve is not down this way or up this way. You want to be engaged. You can put your hands on your sides, in your lap, or place them over your heart, or whatever makes you comfortable. You can close your eyes or find a focus point. Let's start by noticing your breath. Recognize any disruptive thoughts, any aches or pains, or any emotions that are coming forward. There may be an internal critic which is saying, oh, this is just not going to work. Just listen, let that go, and come back to the breath. Breathe in and out for a few minutes, continuing back, coming back to the breath over and over when you feel something or you notice a thought or notice a sensation. There's no rush. You can stay here until you feel like you're ready to move to the next step. You can adjust yourself to feel more comfortable. Maybe you want to ground your feet or adjust the pillow. If you're ready, you're going to state one side of the paradox, saying the words to yourself mentally very slowly. I'm going to have in mind a paradox that I'm reflecting on. You can insert whatever paradox you're struggling with. Maybe there's something you're longing to do or a place you're longing to go. And that's a true statement of something you really long to do or a place you really long to go to. Saying that sentence, search for its true meaning. What is that sentence really telling you?
Notice any tension or thoughts or emotions or answers that want to assert themselves into that first statement. Just notice and let those go. I'm returning to the original statement. Be open, respect, receptive, holding the statement in your mind, just accepting and allowing that statement to be there, and noticing anything that comes up, any feelings, any reactions, any aches or pains. You may even get an idea, and you may want to follow that idea wherever it takes you. If your mind wanders, bring it back to the original statement. can pause the video and give yourself more time. If you're ready, move to the other side of the paradox. State the other side of the paradox, saying the words to yourself mentally very slowly. Maybe it's something you long for as much as the first statement. Say the statement very slowly. You may notice your body reacting. Maybe aches or pains or tremors. Maybe emotions come up, or maybe some distracting thoughts. Just notice and let it go. And come back to the breath and back to the statement. Search for the true meaning of this statement. What is it really telling you? Be open to the truth of the second statement. It may be really difficult to persist with this, but let's give it another couple of minutes.
you want to take extra time to focus on the second statement, you can put this video on pause and come back. If you want to go to the next step, the next step is to recognize that you don't have to decide between the two sides right now. This practice is helping us to notice that both sides are true. side is true, the first statement is true, and the second statement is true. You may notice conflicting emotions, grief and joy at the same time. You may notice confusion or a part that refuses to embrace the experience of two conflicting true statements. That is okay. If you want to take more time to embrace these two opposite statements that are occurring, that are true at the same time, you can put the video on pause and come back. A higher level exists where these contrasting truths are reconciled, even if you don't have access to that higher level. Let go of your logic, which demands an either-or answer. This is not about an either-or black and white answer. Feel yourself expand and embrace both sides simultaneously. And if you're not ready to do that, then whatever you feel, accept and allow that. Let go of your attachment to your original statement. The real truth is never simple. Allow for the possibility that the opposite perspective may be equally true. Keep in mind that this understanding of a paradox should not stop you from actively supporting one position. We must commit ourselves to a point of view and act, even while recognizing the truth of the other side. This too is a paradox. Thank you for joining me, and thank you for the Prayer and Destiny class and the wisdom of Sarya Yehudi Schneider from One Small Voice.